Hello there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we are going to talk about different ways in which cities and urban areas collect and use both qualitative and quantitative data. Qualitative data is observations, interviews, and individuals' thoughts. This information is often up for debate and discussion. It is hard to replicate since the information will often change depending on when it is collected and who is collecting it. For example, presidential approval ratings give geographers insights into to how citizens of the United States view their president, as we can see here with President Bush's approval rating. On the other hand, quantitative data is used to better understand specific details about a place. This information is not up for debate and is often in number form. We can see examples of quantitative data, such as when we look at how many people are in each age cohort in Japan, or if we look at the religious breakdown of the United States of America. We can see that most of the time, quantitative data comes from the census or survey data. Today, we can see government officials use qualitative and quantitative data to make a variety of decisions that impact their constituents. Government officials analyze social media sites to gain insight into public opinion on different issues. We can also see officials conduct focus groups and interviews to better understand what residents and business owners experience in the city and help identify areas of concern or top priorities that the city could use to help inform policy decisions. All of this would be examples of qualitative data being used. On the other hand, government officials also analyze census data to gain information about the different demographics of a city. This can help inform policy decisions when it comes to housing, social services, education, and healthcare services. Government officials will also track different statistics such as traffic accidents, the location of crimes, environmental concerns, and health data. Analyzing which roads experience the most congestion throughout the day or which intersections experience the most accidents allow officials to identify specific areas that may need to be reworked or invested in. Gathering information on the different crimes committed in an area allows officials to better utilize the police to target key areas of a city. By collecting and observing environmental data, officials can better understand the current air quality and water quality of a city. This allows them to make the best decisions in regards to environmental protection, which can help make a city a better place to live. Health data can help government officials make the city a healthier place to be by tracking the amount of infectious diseases or chronic diseases. New policies can be passed to combat the spread of disease and work to create healthier neighborhoods. Again, all of this would be an example of quantitative data being used. We can also see the private sector use both qualitative and quantitative data as well. Businesses conduct focus groups, interviews, conduct surveys, and engage in community outreach programs to better understand the needs and priorities of their customers customers, and the broader community. By using qualitative information, businesses make better decisions on how to optimize their business and remain connected with their customers. Businesses will also use quantitative data to inform their decisions. By analyzing market data such as sales figures, market demand, or different economic indicators such as employment rates and income levels, businesses can gain a better understanding of their customers and the economic status of a city. Businesses will also often use census data to better understand different demographic data, which when paired with the transportation data can also help businesses better understand where they should locate new stores, since they'll be able to have a better understanding of which regions meet their threshold. So we can see that both qualitative and quantitative data are important for cities and businesses to use if they want to create the best experience for people. All right, now comes the time though to practice. Answer the questions on the screen, and when you're done, check your answers in the comment section down below. And if you do need more help with looking at qualitative data or quantitative data, check out my ultimate review packet. You'll find a bunch of exclusive resources in there and it's definitely going to help you get an A in your class and a five on that national exam. As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time online.